John Ford has had a distinguished career as a director and producer of motion pictures. The only director ever to have been honored with six Academy Awards, he has given the world a cavalcade of memorable film classics spanning more than 40 years. Now for Warner Brothers, John Ford brings to the screen Marie Sando's powerful historical narrative, Cheyenne Autumn. It is of a time when America still struggled to preserve its hard-won frontiers, when both the land and its people were rugged and heroic, and sometimes cruel. Now, would you hold that bottle up, miss? Hold it up high. Now, you. I want you to keep your eye right on that bottle. Don't even blink. It's kind of like hypnotized. Keep your eye right on it, Homer. Keep your eye right on the bottle. You're not going to even feel it. Give me the bottle again. One side. For a small band of Cheyenne, shunted to a barren reservation in Oklahoma Territory, it was a time of desperation. These are the heroes of this epic story. You know I came here to carry out a task. I can't leave now. Bunking in this schoolhouse won't help. It will show them that I'm on their side. Uh-uh. Not unless you can change color. You know what they call whites? Vejos. And Vejo means, means fighter. That's right. And that's what they think of us. That's what they think of all and of us. And why shouldn't they? How many Cheyenne have you fought? How many have you that's killed? Right. The less than 300 men, women, and children fought a fantastic running battle with an army of more than 10,000 blue coats in a seemingly hopeless exodus to their Yellowstone homeland nearly 1,500 miles away. <laughs> Sorry, sir. From now on, you don't scratch till I itch. And the cast is as big as the story and the spectacle. Filmed in Technicolor with giant Super Panavision 70 cameras, Cheyenne Autumn stars Richard Widmark, Carol Baker, Carl Malden, Sal Minio, Dolores Del Rio, Ricardo Montalban, Gilbert Rowland, Arthur Kennedy, Patrick Wayne, Elizabeth Allen, John Carradine, Victor Jory, and James Stewart as Wyatt Earp. Edward G. Robinson as the Secretary of the Interior, and a supporting cast of thousands. 